Hey, what's up guys? It's Timeless and I got some really exciting news for you guys today on the Xbox One that I want to share with you guys and that is during Christmas break there was a hacking group called H4LT that leaked some information on the November 2014 Xbox One SDK update and I already made a video talking about the update uh, in, de in December that they made to the ES RAM so I'm going to have a link at the end of this video so you guys can go check that out if you haven't already but uh, so this one was in November and apparently the hackers hacked over Christmas break and some of the information we got is some great news for the Xbox one so that is the Microsoft is giving more CPU power to game developers and that is great news because you know now the games will have more power to run on the Xbox one and so the way they did this is if you guys didn't know before the the November 2014 update on the Xbox one console I guess uh, both the PS4 and Xbox one ran with six CPU cores for for gaming and then two CPU cores were reserved for background tasks that both consoles had to run. And now it looks like Microsoft is releasing the seventh CPU core uh, instead of for background tasks, it's going to make it for gaming, which is great news. And it looks like Microsoft is going to try to make background tasks basically run on just one CPU core. And I think the way they're going to do it is obviously they're going to they're have to optimize the one CPU core and optimize their... Uh, OS operating system on the Xbox one to be able to run on just one CPU core for all the background tasks such as snapping features and all the other features and then just have the seven CPU cores run just games which is great because now it it'll definitely have an advantage over the PS4 unless obviously Sony tries to optimize their OS as well and try to do the same thing but uh, as of right now the CPU on the Xbox one is already clocked at a higher speed and now with the seven CPU core Although the PS4 might have a better GPU, it looks like the uh, Microsoft's console is going to try to get a better CPU uh, performance out of their CPU, which is great news. And that's the way they're going to do it. Um, I did read in the article that the 7 CPU core does have some, I guess, uh, how, how, would I, how would I put this? Uh, compromises, I suppose. Be I, I really don't find it as a compromise because a lot of people, I'm pretty sure, don't mind having the Kinect uh, pretty much almost off in terms of turning off most of the functionality. But uh, that's really what they're doing. The 7 CPU core is, it, in order for game developers to use it, they're going to have to turn off the infrared that the uh, Kinect uses, and they're going to also have to turn off the death sensor that the Kinect uses. And the other thing that they're going to also have to compromise in is that their games can have voice commands. So that's not really a big deal there's a lot of games that already don't have uh, game commands which is you know fine with me really I don't really have to want to yell at my Xbox for some command on a game I, I find that kind of weird I just rather play with the controller but anyways um, I'm glad they're doing that and they're really just giving the option to developers I'm not saying that every game's gonna have to run that way now if you if a developer wants game commands on their game they're just gonna have to use six cores instead of the seventh cores that uh, Microsoft's giving them but um, also, I don't see a lot of game developers right now using the 7 CPU core because DirectX 12 isn't out. And I think this update was really just preparing uh, developers to really just play around with the 7 CPU core and get familiar with it rather than uh, having them actually use it on their current games they're working on. Because DirectX 12, if you guys don't know, is I know it's meant for a lot of basically the overall performance of all the hardware and optimizing all the hard hardware on the Xbox One but uh, DirectX 12 really is gonna it's mainly optimizing the CPU and managing all the processing and really just uh, having every CPU core manage equal load instead of having one CPU core have a lot of load and the other CPU cores have less but one is really strained and then it really just affects uh, the game performance and that's really what DirectX 12 is and putting it simply by the way because obviously it's a little bit more complicated than that but that's basically what it is and so I think once DirectX 12 comes out then developers will have full use of the 7 CPU core without having to worry about uh, compromising too much and everything will be able to run, all the background tasks will be able to run on one CPU core um, because obviously as we see with the 360, it's no surprise because on the 360 um, from when it came out all the way up until now it, you can definitely see that they really optimized it to run a lot of 
technology that recently has been out that when they were building the 360 weren't wasn't even out and that, that's pretty impressive on that old hardware and obviously we're going to see this with both uh ps4 i'm not saying the xbox one's the only one getting all these updates but microsoft you know a software company it's no surprise that they're really uh able to all do do this and um so that's what they're going to do i'm pretty sure like i said once direct x12 comes out then they're going to be really be developers are going to really start using the 7 cpu core but as of now i can see a lot of games still coming out with uh them only using six cpu cores and that's because um one of the functionalities i'm pretty sure microsoft's not going to give up that was in the article is that by using the seven cpu core there's a chance that uh, the game might have issues if someone says uh, Xbox record that and sorry if I made your Xbox just record that by the way but uh, yeah so if, if someone says Xbox record that and records uh, that, that the connects using the voice command functionality or the voice sensor I suppose and that has to run off the CPU and the seventh CPU core uh, I might add and that's the CPU that game developers have been given and developers so they don't really they're not really uh, comfortable, I'm pretty sure, using the 7th core just because uh, some of the stuff's not completely optimized yet. So I'm pretty sure it's just for them to play around with it. And then later on, once DirectX 12 comes down, there's better CPU management. They will definitely have full access to it. But uh, let me know your thoughts on all this. Do you guys think the Xbox One is going to have a huge advantage over the PS4 in terms of CPU? Or do you think it's going to be a uh, minimal difference? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, also, what do you guys think about DirectX 12? Do you guys think this update was really, really just meant to have it ready for when DirectX 12 hits? Or do you think this was meant for developers to actually start using it right now? Uh, let me know your thoughts. I'll have the link to the article down below so you guys can check it out as well. At the end of this video, we'll, there'll be a link to the ESRAM video so you guys can see that. Um, it's pretty exciting news for the Xbox One. It looks like it's getting much, much more powerful and no surprise. Well, obviously the hardware is the same inside, but they're optimizing it and that's great to see. So hopefully Sony does the same thing because in the end, I want to see some great games and that's hopefully what's going to happen. So leave your comments. Let me know what do you guys think and make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you aren't already for more videos like this and also like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it and I will see you guys in the next one.